Today, let's talk again about something that we've talked about a little bit in the past is having fun. That's right, having fun. Pastor, do you have fun with your spouse? You know, I asked a pastor this past week, what do you do for fun with your wife? And he looked at me like what we in America say, deer in the headlights. I mean, he looked at me like, wow, what, what do we do? And so he gave a, a brief explanation, and it was more to do with travel. And I said, no, what do you do that you actually fun and laugh at and, and just enjoy life with? Let me tell you something, pastors, ministry leaders, champions. If you are not having fun and enjoying life and doing things with your wife, with your spouse, with your family, to have fun, you are missing a vital part of the help that you need to be a good pastor, to be a good leader, to be good at whatever you're doing, because if your home life is not in order, in godly order, which having laughter and smiling and enjoying one another is a part of godly order. The Word of God, as you know, says, you know, a, a laugh, a, a cheerful, is like a medicine. And it truly is like a medicine. So today at your table, I want to challenge you to actually say, we do this and laugh about it. We do this and have fun. We are intentional about making sure that we are doing life together and I am not just being a pastor all of the time to my family, to my wife, to my children. I can be a good dad. I am a good husband. I can take that hat off and really be a good daddy. Be a good mother. And my spouse and I can laugh together and enjoy life together as God intended it. Believe me, that will breathe life into your ministry. It really will. But if you are not laughing together and smiling together and doing life together that way, you are slowly draining the life out of your marriage. If you're not having fun with those children and being a good daddy and doing things with them, you may be totally losing them to the world because they're going to blame God and the church for what you are not doing with them. Believe me, I know exactly what I'm talking about because I have talked to children. I've talked to my friends who I'm a PK, pastor's kid. We got a history of it. I've seen what it's done to family members and friends because of what the church did to the family and the pastor, the daddy, the husband did not do. So today, again, at your table, talk about what you are doing. And if you're not, discuss some things that you can do that are unique and different and fun. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of things that you've probably never done that your wife would love to do. And so I'm going to say, go do it. Find out what it is. Eat at a different restaurant. Go do something. Go bowling. You know, go, go on a hike. I mean, just do something that is different. And you'll, you will reap rewards that you cannot believe when you're doing something as a man and a woman, as a husband, as a wife, as a daddy with your children. God bless you. Linda and I are praying for you. We're faithful to do that. We love you. And I pray and ask you to pray for Linda and I. Pray for this ministry. Pray that, that we can reach more pastors who today are struggling more than ever before because we are in real warfare that is attacking you, pastor. That is attacking your pastor. So please share this with pastors, your friends, anybody you think might could use a challenge to have fun, to smile. God bless you. We love you. Look forward to talking to you again real soon.